23, this is Jane and Bromley. Um, this is our first week of November, but last week of October, technically, of 2014. Um, mm -hmm. This is what we did. Oh, rhythm and uh, footwork was our class. Yep, and this is our first week back uh, from getting married, so for Halloween, uh, Jean is a bride. Uh, and in real life. I just so, wear this every day, actually. We started uh, working on some basics, just stringing together a few six count patterns working on making sure at the end our shoulders are more square versus sending out and being a little bit more open. Um, so we wanted to end square here. As we went across, we wanted our follows turning right away. And we went into this six count pattern. One, three, five, and a one, turn, three, turn, turn, five, a six. Then we changed the rhythm of our send out and brought our follows right back in. One, two, triple, and a rock step, triple step. We talked about how on the six count pattern, it was a little more the absence of a lead that um, dictated that second triple step. So our, our send out, triple and triple step. I gave Jean more space and just slowed her down at the end. Whereas I keep her a little tighter and then send her out into that rock step for that bring back in. We also talked about doing the same move, but adding a spin where our follows came right back in towards us. So for that one, I wanted to start square, but open up, rotate my follow, then I brought my arm in and around, boom, as Jean did her triple step down the line. So looking straight on the, from the camera, boom, ba, da, da, di, rock, step, triple, and ha, da, da, di. We also had a version where we left our follows in place, rock, step, a triple, and a rock, step. And on that one, again, you, because you didn't fall through towards your leads, your follow stayed out and open. Um, and then we wanted to talk about some of the things that we could do um, if we gave, let our follows come by us and just let them take our arm. Some of the moments that we could have in the dance to improvise. So we had, uh, from here we had rock and triple and we had our Titanic, triple, <laughs> da, D, da, da, D. We also had a version where leaders could triple and a whack, whack, boop, ha. And a lot of these were just examples, but you could uh, play with them later. Another version might be rock and triple and cross, cross, triple, ba, da, da, di. So feel free to make all those part of your regular vocabulary. And then the final thing that we did was we, instead of giving that rock step before the swing out, we went right into our triple step. So show that all the way through one, three, rock and triple, and right away, triple, step, step, triple, step. And of course, that could also be your circle. One, two, triple, triple, and step, step, triple, step. So you guys did a really good job playing with the different rhythms. It's difficult to go from six to eight or just switching uh, the way we want to think about it is from step steps to triples or if you want to think of that quick, quick and longs. Um, but great job. We'll pick this up next week. Happy Thank you. <laughs>